Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Welcome to the channel today. So excited that you're here. Today we're gonna cover a little topic. I know recently we talked about multiple units of measure and how you can use those to receive products in big cases and split them down to sell them off singly. And then of course, along with that subject, what you might be wondering is, well, how do we do an inventory count uh, if we've got some singles here and we got boxes and boxes in the back that are big cases full and that is what we're going to cover today but before we do that don't forget to click on the link down below to get over to our quickbooks point of sale facebook group where you can join up and ask questions such as this and people like myself and other community members would be happy to answer your questions if you're on youtube today don't forget to subscribe on the button down below and let's go ahead and tackle this subject right now so on my item list i believe the only thing i got right away set up here is the orange highlighter which comes 12 in a box and that's multiple units of measure and so if I'm doing my inventory count, and I'm doing that by going to start physical inventory, yep, that's the store I'm in. Now, we've got it right here. Number 75 is the orange highlighter, which come 12 in a box. So I might have a bin with a bunch of them, uh, and I may have boxes in the back that are 12 in a box. That's my multiple units there. Now, um, I, of course, am going to recommend that most people would... Uh, go ahead and use the inventory scanner to scan their inventory. It's just going to save a lot of headache. So you can scan, 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 scan. You don't have to run around with paper. That's a whole nother story. And we've got plenty of videos about the inventory scanner. But what about these boxes that you have with your multiple units? Well, here's how you're going to do it. Uh, with the inventory scanner or your counting sheet or what have you, uh, you would go ahead and count all of the base units that are out. So any singles, any of the base units, the smallest unit that are actually on the shelf or out, go ahead and count those. And let's say you have seven of those. And so you got seven singles and those are entered in. And then you go and count in the back you have, mm, let's say you have 12 boxes in the back that are still boxes and they haven't been uh, split out they haven't been uh, brought down to singles and so you want to count those quickly right well you just want to make note that you have 12 boxes in the back and then you're going to come come to your physical inventory screen you're going to go to add counts by hand and you're probably going to do this towards the end of course and so this is item number 75 and Right here, you can choose unit of measure. You're gonna switch that to box. I'm gonna say I had 12 boxes, right? And then I'm gonna hit add. And you can see that 12 boxes is actually gonna be a total of 144 automatically. So I hit save. It's going to add that to the seven that I already had. And of course, this is way off of what it thought we needed, 48, I guess. But that's besides the point. The, the key here is that you go to add counts by hand and then you change your unit of measure to whatever you counted them in and enter the quantity of that and it's automatically going to do the count math for you and add it to your physical inventory screen my name's peter and this was counting multiple units of measure in your physical inventory count at the end of the year i hope you have an excellent day and if this video helped you out at all, go ahead and hit the like button down below and you have a great evening. All right, bye.